I'm Hannah. And I'm Christine. And we were wondering, have you ever wanted to make your own lampshade with DIY expert and nerd fighter extraordinaire Karen Cabot? Are you looking for three totally awesome tumblers to fill your feed? How would YouTube's Christina Horner, aka I Talk to Snakes, deal with some really awkward situations? Find out this week on The Wonderly Way. We are here today with DIY expert Karen Cavett, who's going to give us some tips on how to make these awesome lampshades and a few hints on how to make our rooms just a shade more exciting. With a little creativity, you can really light up a room. <laughs> you guys, come on. Karen Cavett, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Karen, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, my name is Karen Cavett. I am a freelance graphic designer, and I also make videos on YouTube about graphic design and also about crafting and DIY projects. Awesome. OK, Karen, why don't we get started? Will you tell us some of the techniques you are going to be showing us today? Sure. So for this first lampshade, I actually took these flowers from this fake flower bouquet. I just took them off of the bouquet, and I started sewing them onto the lampshade. It's actually a really simple technique. You just kind of put it on there and sew it on. Very cool. And did you just pop those off to get them off the stems? Uh, yeah, it's really easy. They come apart pretty nice. easily. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> well, it's super cute. Then for our second lampshade, so this one is actually a gradient of all of these paint chips. If we can see our big paint chip book. That is a serious <laughs> book of paint chips right so there. So you can really do any color you want. I actually found mine on the side of the road because apparently that's what you do in San Francisco. But you can get these at any hardware store. Awesome. Very cool. And speaking of paint, this one looks like it is fabric paint, right? Uh, yeah, so this one, we actually wanted to do this nice stripey design. So I used some tape to mask off some stripes. And then I just brushed on some fabric paint to make these nice colorful stripes. And then to add a little bit of texture, I also sewed on a little bit of ribbon. Very cool. Yeah, that's great. And then if you wanted to add just a little final touch, you can do as many stripes as you want. You can also put another flower just in the corner there. You can also cover up any little mistakes you made. Well, awesome. Thank you so much for sharing these very cool tips with us, Karen. Yeah, thanks for having me. Thank Our you. pleasure. <laughs> so if you tried out any of these techniques and made lampshades of your own, we want to see them. Post them to Facebook or Tumblr with the hashtag Wonderly Lampshade, and we'll feature our favorites in a couple weeks. Bonus points if you wear the lampshade as a hat. Like so. <laughs> Although you could also just take a picture of the lampshade. <laughs> you can also get more from Karen Cavett at youtube.com slash Karen. So uh, Karen, you want to take us out? OK. <laughs> Hello YouTube, I'm here today, right now, to thank each and every single one of you guys. We are at VidCon, and we are about to do a pajama cam video. Today we have Christina Horner. But that's not what you go by on YouTube, is it, Christina? No, it's not. Hmm. So what do you go by, and can you tell us why? Well, I am a big Harry Potter fan, and when I was 18 years old, and when I first joined YouTube, I decided a really good idea would be to declare that loudly with my username, so I have been stuck with I Talk to Snakes for the entire time. Very interesting. Indeed. But enough of the chatter. It's time for some hard-hitting interview questions on what would you do if? What, what, what's this? What are you, what are you oh, doing? Oh, just a standard polygraph, a lie detector. We do it with all our interviews looks like a cassette player, and this is attached with yarn. Oh, okay, all right, Let, let's get down to business. I'm standing by. First question, what would you do if you woke up one morning as a cat? If I was a cat, would I still have my computer? Sure. sure. Yeah. Well, if I was a cat, then I would probably spend my time looking at pictures of humans on Tumblr. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, second question. What would you do if you could only eat cupcakes one more time in your life? Would you seize the day or save the experience? Only one more time? Um, well, being a YouTuber, I'd probably have to make a big deal of this experience, so I'd probably try to set the world record for eating the largest cupcake of all time, mm. which actually, thinking about it, that is a lot of cake and frosting, so I'd probably never want to eat them again, which would be perfect. Smart. Smart yeah. answer. What would you do if you had to choose between checking Facebook and eating cheese for the rest of your life? I think if I had to pick between eating cheese and anything in the world, I would still pick eating cheese. So, 
see a Facebook. Oh, mm. very interesting. Interesting. What would you do if you could choose between being on Legends of the Hidden Temple, what would you do, or Double Dare? Oh, man. Okay, well, I dressed as a contestant from Legends of the Hidden Temple what for... Team? Uh, I was the green, wait. Green she, monkeys? Gre yeah, yeah, green monkeys. I was the green monkeys. Ooh, Ooh that was embarrassing. <laughs> um, so I did that for Halloween, so I feel like I got that out of my system. Oh, okay. Uh, I feel like I'd have to do double dare because I want to be able to pick that giant nose. Follow up, would you be more excited about the nose or that waxy ear drum business? Ooh, the earwax is gross. I feel like the boogers are way cooler because it was like the Nickelodeon slime. Sliding into the Sunday. Exactly, that mm. one. Perfect. Yeah. Excellent. As long as there aren't cupcakes. Because no, I can't do those right, anymore. Right, because of the right. yeah. A giant one, though. Exactly. Yeah. Sure. Well, there you have it. Indisputable proof that YouTube's Christina Horner would stalk humans on Tumblr, eat a giant cupcake and never want any more cupcakes, and would pick cheese over anything else. And she also knows the difference between a tape player and a lie detector. So I don't know about you, but while I follow probably a billion tumblers, there are a few that get me so excited when they show up in my dash. These are the top three tumblers I am crushing on this week. Up first, we have Nine Eyes. Nine Eyes curates all the most beautiful and scenic and super weird photos captured by the Google Street View car. It's got landscapes and ponies and escaped convicts, and it just may encourage you to do some Google Street View sleuthing of your very own. Up next is bad kids jokes. There are two things that I love in this world, maybe more than other things. One of them is spazzy little children, and the other one is accents. It's run by this guy who moderates a British children's kids jokes website, and when kids send in jokes to the site that are too weird, or too not making sense, or have the word poo in them too much, there's a lot of poo on this site, then he posts them to this Tumblr. The best thing about this blog is that not only are these jokes totally ridiculous and funny, but you can't help but read them in your head as if some tiny little adorable rosy-faced British child is reading them and giggling over knickers or something like that. And last but not least, my third Tumblr I'm crushing on this week is Things Organized Neatly. It is featuring all kinds of beautiful photos of things organized neatly. And I love it because everything is so in its place, but in a very calm, soothing way, and you should check it out. So those are the top three tumblers I am crushing on this week. Leave me a comment, let me know what you're in love with, and maybe I'll give it a look for another segment in the future. Thanks for watching our first ever episode of The Wonderly Way. If you're watching this 50 years in the future, we're probably still pretty popular, aren't we? We're like the I Love Lucy of the internet. We nailed it right out of the gate, and we haven't aged a day. But seriously, guys, what did you think of the episode? Did you like it? Do you have any suggestions for next time? Is there a guest that you'd like to see? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more. We'll see you next week. <laughs>